Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about your ascension and we're gonna talk about healing zones and stages. We're gonna talk about some of the stages. And these are important because this year is especially for the down to earth stuff. That's what I call it, down to earth. Like what can you attend to? What healing do you need? What is being brought up to your attention? And you have to focus on you. You have to focus on you yourself. And this is, you know, this is so hard to say to people because I want them to balance their expectancy of the lover in their life, the real physical togetherness, like a lot of people want. People show up for their sessions and they define themselves as I'm so-and-so in separation and you know that's not really your identity but it's for now it is a for now thing because why because you're probably going to go through some healing zones and so does your other half okay and so let's talk about that a bit okay so with the very first awakening let me move this so you could see it better the very first awakening um, for some people, this has occurred decades ago, 20 years ago, or they feel like, you know, they were first um, somehow in something, some type of a relationship they felt and the other person didn't feel and they've come to believe, hey, maybe that, you know, years later when they start checking boxes, they ghosted you, they're a narcissist, they were a jerk. They left you for dead. They left you pregnant and alone. Whatever the situation is, they love bombed you. And now there's a lot of this terminology out there and you can kind of like be like, hang on a minute. Was that the per, it's regardless right now. It doesn't matter if you awakened three years ago, six months ago, 20 years ago. That part for your soul is irrelevant. Why? Because you're in a timeline now where a lot of that pink bubble, that first thing that you felt that's sometimes referred to as the bubble phase, or sometimes it's called the pink bubble. Sometimes it's called the pink bubble too because you were feeling okay and now it's time to detox and heal some things. So what happens? Your soul nudges you, okay? Your soul is nudging you. Your heart, your heart wants to go up. Your heart wants to go up, up, up. But the rest of your life feels like you're anchored down here and you're doing the same things, which equals karma. What are some of these same things? You're dating the same types of people. You are stuck in the same relationship. You're stuck in a marriage and you're starting to wonder because their marriage is like really failing. and But you're thinking to yourself, hey this this relationship is failing what if are you in a bad relationship a lot of people are and everything can feel toxic and sometimes it feels like you're married to the wrong job you're married to the wrong person and there's that anchor everything that you've had earthly all of your earthly grounding chakras they feel like they are a shocking drain they're toxic and people, you know, people want to rail and find a target, you know. What I say is, like, let's elevate that and let's do something better. Let's focus on you. What are your needs? What, you know, like, yeah, we knew you survived. You survived over here. You survived your first awakening. I'm so proud of you. Be proud of yourself. But here's the other part of it. And you do have what it takes. Otherwise, you wouldn't sign down for this incarnation. Not you, not your other half, because you have each other. And that is the key. That is one of only many keys. But it is a huge key to being able to do this. Now, that doesn't mean go run and pick up the phone or go check them out on Facebook or some other social media. That's not how you work it. You have to do the work. You have to do the inside to the upper, the inside to the upper. You will go through and get into your cocoon. Many times you will feel like you're being cocooned. Now, this is a form of a hermit stage. You may be familiar with 
the hermit stage. When it first happens to people, they're sort of baffled by it. They're very confused and they're like, why does everything seem like it's falling away from me? I'm losing people. I'm losing friends. I feel like I don't care about my family. Well, you're leaving them. You're actually not leaving. You are ascending. Okay, you're ascending. Hermit is one of the ways that your soul passively gets you to do stuff and grow. Now, that doesn't mean you're inactive and you lay there like a jellyfish. A lot of people need to stop playing dead. Stop playing dead. Get your light body going. This is what I have for you. Okay, you can feel like your death warmed over. I don't doubt that because sometimes when you first go into this, you're like, I just feel like death warmed over. Well, are you recuperating from something? You may actually be recuperating from several lifetimes, but that doesn't mean that you're going to accomplish everything by doing nothing. Be proactive. Let me help you with your light body because your light body is how you get through this smoothly and you ascend up. But your pink bubble pops. What are some of the same old things you're doing in karma? Are you spreading around your sexual energy? Have you cleaned up your sacral, your hara, your root? Okay. Those roots, those have a lot of things in it. Okay. That is literally your root. But that grounding connection needs to be up here. How are you going to do it? You need to connect it to your high heart simply for one reason. So you can thrive and be in love. Now, when I say be in love... Okay, what that is, is the two people, you're enveloped in your love from 5D. You are a living conduit and vessel. That part you might know. A lot of people don't know how to get there. And that's why I'm here. This is my gift. This is my gift to seamlessly help you purge, heal, shift, integrate, and elevate. And get up into a level that befits you. Okay, not to leave you simmering down here, you know, in the karmic laundry machine, wondering what the hell is next. That's not going to help you. So you stop doing the same things. Sometimes that means that you break away from groups. That's very upsetting for people. It could be a group of friends. It could be a yoga group. It could be a hobby group. It could be anything. But suddenly everything feels toxic. You're not here to just endure toxic things or rail against the government or rail against other people or feel like, you know, you're hitting a wall and you're just at the mercy of everyone else. You are different because of this, your first awakening. You're different. In some ways, yeah, you are better than the other kids on the playground for a moment until they have theirs. Would you like to help people getting through these phases and stages? I have a course that teach you how to become a practitioner. Let me know if you're interested. Look for the link on my website. So what happens if you hit the wall? A lot of people fall down in this and they fall back into that karmic cesspool of soulmates that feel toxic, okay? And sometimes they wonder, is this ever going to change? It changes when I help you change and start transforming. Put good use to the cocoon state that you're in, your hermit, whether you're male or female. Okay. A lot of people think hermit mode is just for, you know, creating like a dynamic plan for a career or something. And you might see videos out there about that. Like, Da, 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 we're going to create this like template and then guess what you brought the template with you all you have to do is let me help you open it and it starts coming so my gift helps that pop gets rid of all of that weird stuff and it starts making sense to you and even better it starts feeling in my, in my previous webinar, not the one I'm doing now, but in the previous one, I had three people write me afterward that pretty much said, you know, the circumstances at my work are changed. Someone won a visa lottery. And I mean, you can't make this stuff up. 
they did the work. They did the work it takes for their expansion and growth and for their future life. So look, how would it be if you have a couple and they're carrying all this baggage in, okay? Or sometimes the feminine thinks that they're just going to keep carrying the burdens for the masculine all the time. No, this is a two-way street. The masculine is doing certain things and the feminine is doing some things. Men do some things, women do some things. Men have the same shit. They have the same opportunities too, okay? Let's talk about this in terms of opportunity. So are you hitting the wall? Well, let me ask you, do you feel a feeling sometimes, if you ever played Monopoly as a kid, do not pass go, do not collect $200. Let's get this in a little closer. Do you sometimes feel like some giant foot just kicked you in the gut and was like, no, do not pass go? Well, why? Can you develop your discernment on this? Do not collect $200. Is this affecting your financial health, your financial life? That's the thing that can happen in the hermit phase. Finances sometimes stagnate. Okay, why? Well, sometimes people would like to do the blame game. Everything feels toxic, but maybe it's a time for you to grow. Maybe it's a time for you to expand your body, stay put, and like the people who join my webinar, find out that a miracle has happened that they could not have arranged at human level. So yeah, in the year of 2024, oops, 20... 24 and into 25 okay you are going to find that attending to your earthly stuff will serve you well and we help with that okay we cover every topic that comes up on your journey everything divorces jobs your calling how to start your business spiritual counseling and guidance really 5d and beyond because i am a blu-ray and that is what i am i'm a multi-dimensional healer which means past present future in other words the future things that i help you with the key to unlock for you it can come to you and it's specific for you i'm not going to tell you your future you have to tell your future you have to be like Goldilocks, like, no, that's too cold. Nah, it's like, be a picky bitch, okay? That's what your soul wants. Your soul wants you to be decisive, not wishy-washy, like, oh, I'm going to do the same things. I'm going to date the same people. Hell no, okay? Don't do that to yourself. And then later say, I should have, I should have, just like that one song. I should have seen the fortune tellers, right? And just seen what was there and not some holy light, okay? Let's get real about this. You have to make this about you for especially this time. So what else could you feel? People's energy interferes. And this can come from the least likely places. Your child can become a nuisance and you may look at them like they look like a stranger to you and even say to yourself, did I really give birth to this kid? Did I, like, why do they feel so annoying? And furthermore, why do I feel detached? Like, I don't even know them, okay? That is very alarming for people, especially those of us with a big, huge heart, okay? Most of us want to help people. We don't want to hurt people or ignore them. We have a big heart. This is why. Karma, toxic, what's between you and that kid, okay? Another one, you feel depressed, oh, and if you're a female, okay, that can come from parts of your body, reproductive parts. If you're a male, it can come from the prostate and you wouldn't even know it. Why? Why? Well, are you getting submerged in karma where everything you know, you have to see what's surrounding this. What else is surrounding this? Okay. Don't take in too much uh, streaming services, internet, the news media. The news wants to hook you in. Don't fall for it. 
okay? You'll become aware of the news. Unless it's your job, like, okay? Give it no credence. They, they, I don't know, how do you say it? They exaggerate. They do because they're like fishing out there for, you know, who's going to be, you know, drawn in the fear mongering. How about if we get some love mongering going? Okay, stop the fear mongering. Okay, another one. You see too many problems in the world. Okay, you start feeling icky. And then you look around and you're like, my God, why is everyone getting cancer? Why is everybody have some illness? Why does everyone have a mystery illness? I will say something right now about mystery illnesses. I feel a lot of them. You know why? Because the majority of them are ascension. They are a part of someone's ascension. So I don't need to know the details. I don't need to define it. Most syndromes where it's a subset of things, it's ascension. Okay. Most of it. Okay. Some of it is lifestyle. And I'm going to say this is part of your karma and toxic stuff. Do you have an addiction? Or do you feel addicted? Do addictive tendencies and behaviors run in your family? They do for a lot of people, okay? And there's no blame or shame here. But I say, can we get rid of those anchors? Because you're not going to get further without working on it. Is your spouse a shocking drain anchor on you? Okay, let me help you. All of these things are as simple as unplug. And then you do the work because you have to elevate. This is what I'm capable of doing as a multidimensional healer and teacher. I don't just leave you there, okay? Unlike a lot of places where they might be like, da, 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 okay, there's your, and no. I give you instructions because that healing, that thing, Rome was not built in a day. You didn't get sick in a day. You didn't feel the toxic stuff in a day. You are a strong being, but it's like, boom, it's been trowled on you and, you know, topped off with more garbage and more toxicity. Enough is enough. Start to be picky. Start to work with me. We have answers. Work with my practitioners. They're excellent at coaching and helping. And it starts with a simple conversation. Just talk to us. That's as simple as I can say it. So stop hitting the wall because people will hit the wall. This is a time when you have to do it. It's vital. It's critical for some people. How would you like to be the one in your family that like says the buck stops here, okay? The buck stops here for these illnesses that run in my family. Those debilitating chronic things that crop up. You know, you hit that wall. Look, some people, like I used an example of 20 years ago. So now 20 years, guess what? The physical body has aged, okay? But how can you slow down the aging of the physical body? Okay, I just had a procedure. And thanks to the hard work I've done, it was minimal, okay? I am the living bridge between the metaphysical and the physical healing that you need for the zones and the stages that you will go through. And that's what my four zone healing is for. It is for the physical human body. What do you do? I incorporate both. We're doing healing by twin flame reconnection with the four zone healing to work on, you know, where are you being nudged by your soul? Okay, because it's different for different people. But I'm an intuitive, and that is my gift. Well, how would this be if I didn't tell people what my gift was? If I was a gifted architect, I'd be designing buildings and houses, and I'd be like, look at what we can build, right? Well, look what we can build. By the simple start of have a session and a conversation. So I hope that you like and subscribe to my videos because we're going to have much more to talk about, especially about this topic, karma, karmic balancing. Karma ended in 2010, but a lot of people are still playing it out. So stay tuned. Thank you so much. 
get my book. My book is intended to help you. It is a workbook. It instructs, you can write with prompts, and it tells you how to begin getting your 5D High Heart Connections open. And with a little proviso, some people have a heart orgasm. If you've never experienced what that's like, maybe it's time to start feeling what this is supposed to really feel like. What is food really supposed to feel like when it travels through your system and you can feel the vibration? What are other people really supposed to feel like when you don't feel their toxic stuff and they're on their, they seem like they're on their best behavior? What is your family really supposed to feel like or your children or any of that? Okay, perfect strangers. Okay, so get started today and we are here to help. Thank you so much. Bye.